hi everyone, and I want to welcome you to the ODs on Facebook webinar on video content marketing strategy sponsored by Surefire Social. I'm Alan Glazier, uh, founder and admin for ODs on Facebook. And before I introduce you to Mark Roos, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Surefire, who's sponsoring tonight. Generally, companies providing website and internet marketing services in our industry are cookie cutter and lack sophistication needed for SEO and social engagement in today's advanced internet search environment. Now, I was introduced to Surefire Social's technology after evaluating many of the companies that offered services in our industry, and I was thoroughly impressed. Surefire has proprietary technology that elevates their services far beyond what most providers that we have access to currently offer. I was blown away by what they offered, and now they run my entire marketing effort for my practice. Not only does their technology help elevate your practice in local searches for the products and services you hope to be found for, but their software can show you a direct return on your investment on your marketing dollars. So you know the money you're spending on marketing with them is paying off in multiples. Surefire Social is also the provider for other optometric thought leaders and 70 optometric practices. Justin Bazan, are you here? Because he uses them too. So with that kind of cred, I think it's fair to say they're worth taking a look at. Now, I keep bringing webinars featuring experts from different important areas of internet marketing to help you better understand the available tools and how to use them. Video is and always has been hot, and with the ease of sharing going on using handheld technologies, it's more relevant than ever for our practice marketing. We use a lot of it in my practice. Mark Roos, the enterprise account manager with Better Video and an expert on video content marketing strategy, provides video products in conjunction with Surefire Social. And I want to thank Surefire for help putting this webinar together. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Mark. Hey, all right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks, Don. I appreciate it. And thanks to Surefire for putting this on. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, this first slide, I just wanted to, to quickly touch on the ecosystem or the universe in which video is primarily living. And what I mean by that is most of the eyeballs that you're going to try to reach and, and uh, attract are going to be spending a, a majority of their time on Google, YouTube, Facebook, and, and Yahoo. Now, this is by no means the entire ecosystem of where all eyeballs are. As we all know, the Internet is vast. But um, for the purposes of this presentation and for the purposes of, of enabling you to get your heads around where this content uh, would be appearing when you do video marketing, these are, these are some of the top platforms that your video content, you're going to want that video content to appear on. So let me just jump real quick into some data points. Um, let me move that out of the way. Um, video super supercharges digital media. 210 million people, that's 65% of the population, will watch digital videos in 2016. And as I go through these stats, uh, some of the numbers and some of the things that you're going to see in these stats um, may appear to be um, a little uh, inflated, but I can assure you they are not. Uh, video is that important. Video is that um, big of a player within your digital marketing strategy. So if you're not deploying some sort of video marketing strategy currently, hopefully this presentation will uh, increase your knowledge and uh, allow you to walk away from here with a little bit more information so you can start to prepare uh, to create a, a, a video strategy uh, if you haven't already started. So visitors um, who view video on a website stay two minutes longer, and 44% of those uh, consumers made a purchase after viewing video online. Video optimizes online search. You get a 41% higher click-through rate for listings and search results when video is included. So basically, uh, having video is going to increase those results versus not having video. Yeah, Mark, I want to add, it's Alan here, I want to add something to that. It, I've sure. created videos over the past, I don't know, eight or nine years, and sometimes for some obscure search terms. If you search those terms today, often my videos will show up in the search results, just a link to the video from 2011 or 2012. So it has strong staying power as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that, that piece of content that you created, you said, for a, a, you said an obscure search term. What, on those specific videos, what, what was that, that key phrase, that that search term. Well, they're long-tailed. They're you know they're phrases like 
eye doctor in Rockville, Maryland, or um, dry eye treatment in Rockville, uh, which is the city I'm ah. in. So mostly long-tailed therases. Right. But that, that, that dry eye is probably, even now, is probably a big, um, a popular key phrase. Oh, yeah. Um, video boosts and social shares. So videos are shared 12,000% more than links or text combined. And if, if anybody's struggling with that number, just think about your own behavior. That's the way I like to, to, to view some of these some of these stats when I'm talking about them. Is just talk, look at your own behavior. Um, I'm on Facebook quite a bit. Uh, I'm sharing lots of video content. I'm on different platforms, watching things, sharing things. Um, people are sharing videos with me. Um, so when you take those those that terminology into your world, into the optometry world, um, you're going to want to start creating content around just like we were we were talking about just a little bit earlier around specific key phrases. But if those are popular key phrases and your content is good um, and it, it solves the problem or solves the need, people will share that content. And that's something that, that it's not, it's not easy, it's easier said than done, but if you work with true professionals that understand how to do this, they can work with you to help you create that type of content so you do get those types of results. 89% um, are likely to share a video if they consider it formative, just like I was just saying. So video makes SEO uh, results skyrocket. Video is 50 times more likely to get organic page rankings on Google than plain results. Um, I don't I don't know if that's a, a shocking term to anyone, but it just is continuing to reinforce how important it is, especially to Google because Google owns YouTube that you have video in your digital marketing mix. Emails get opened and acted upon. What that means is if you embed video and emails, we're seeing a 55% higher revenue um, per email and 50% more clicks compared to emails with no embedded video. Um, and we are currently deploying um, email, video email tactics for some of our customers right now um, using animated GIFs within the email that links to an actual video on a landing page, and we're seeing great results with that. Video gets cash registers ringing. So maybe in your business you don't have a tremendous amount of e-commerce, but if you do um, have e-commerce, then video is going to, uh, if you're not already deploying video, uh, it will be uh, extremely beneficial to help drive um, revenue through your e-commerce by creating product video. Uh, product video is a 91% increase in conversion in lieu of just having a photograph and, and some text there. Um, landing pages. So landing pages are a, a very, very successful and very strategic video content marketing play. Um, using video on a promotional landing page increase, can, can increase in, uh, conversion by 80%. So for example, if it is um, a lead generation tactic for for you guys to um, take uh, booking appointments online, then potentially creating some video content on that same booking page where the call to action within the video is to book your appointment now or fill out the form to the right of this video for more information or something to that effect, you will start to see an increase in conversion if you're not already doing those things. So now let me just kind of jump into some of our goals for today. Uh, like I was saying in the introduction, I really want uh, you guys to walk away with, with, with some tidbits of information. That if you're not currently deploying a video strategy, um, if you're thinking about it, then hopefully this presentation will enable you to take away some things and start uh, working on that uh, you know, tomorrow. Um, so when you're developing the right strategy with video, uh, I think it's very important, and you guys will probably agree with me here, is knowing who your patient is, where is that patient, uh, probably in proximity to your actual uh, practice, and what is your patient searching for? We mentioned uh, dry eye earlier in, in the presentation when we were kicking it off. Those are the kind of things that you would want to be thinking about when it comes to what kind of video content am I going to create or what should I create, but you need to know what your patients or your potential patients 
would be searching for, and from there you can work with a with a digital content creation and video marketing firm or a, a firm like uh, Surefire that can help you dial in your messaging and create that content. I'm going to get into some of the most effective types of video. Um, these are by no stretch the be all end all of video topics or types. But I can tell you that we deploy these types of videos for our, our clients, um, and we see great results with business overview videos. Um, that could be a video about your practice that's very generic in nature um, in general, and that could live maybe on your home page. So when traffic lands at your home page, they get a sense of who you are as a business. Um, and then that web, that web page uh, can also have calls to action to drive further response. Uh, but a business overview video is designed to almost be almost as uh, your business card in a way, uh, just in video form. Product video, like I was talking about earlier, product page, product video on landing pages or even on different tabs of your website. Um, if you have a specific product or service that, that uh, you're, you're known for, then potentially creating product video around those services and, and having those on a landing page and then driving traffic to that landing page um, with the right calls to action um, are very effective types of video. Calls to action, like I just said, a lot of this video content that you're going to want to create, you're going to want to create with a purpose and with a very specific desire to drive a very specific response. If you're just going to make some videos and throw them out there, um, you're probably not going to have a whole lot of success because um, there's so much content coming at everyone who spends any time on the Internet. You really need to be laser focused on, on your topic. You need to be laser focused on your content, and you need to be creating that content in a manner that is, that is, that is of interest to your potential patient. Um, testimonial video, um, that's just video content where if you have um, um, patients that are um, extremely loyal to you and refer you, that you get them to offer to do a, a, a testimonial for you, that's a very pow powerful piece of content that, that lends to credibility. Um, and just uh, gives you overall your practice even more credibility. And then obviously social content. Um, social content um, can be can be a lot of things to a lot of people, but in actuality, it's just maybe the lighter side of your business or the personality, or if you're involved in the community, it's the human side of your business, and that's the kind of content that you want to create when we talk about social video. And I'll get into all these now um, as we move along here. Um, I want to help you guys ensure that your customers see that video and talk to you guys about how do you hit the right devices, how do you hit the, the right online properties, like I was mentioning before, um, if your video is appearing um, in places where the, your target customer isn't spending any time, then you're not going to see a whole lot of success with that. So we'll talk a little bit on how you do that and how you dial that in. And uh, probably something that's probably the most important thing from this entire presentation is how do you how do you win new patients with video? How do you get more form fills or phone calls, appointments, referrals, whatever that metric is to you? Um, hopefully, this, this presentation will help you start to think about how you need to be thinking about those desired results. All right. So some of the solutions that video provides. Um, Digital video is the most engaging way for your customers to connect with you. Your, pa your patients are looking for video. They expect video. If they hit your website and they have to start reading a whole uh, bunch of information, um, you're going to be able to look at your Google Analytics or whatever reporting tool. You put a video there, um, and then you track those results. You'll notice that your bounce rate decreases because people are starting to become more engaged with that video content. People just don't want to read as much. Yes. Real quick, give them a little uh, a little nugget on what a bounce rate is, just so they know. Yes, a bounce rate is, so let's say that you're spending money in pay-per-click or you're, you're spending money in uh, search engine optimization, and your goal is to drive traffic to, a, to a, 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 a landing page on your website or your home page of your website or your a specific page of your website. Well, maybe you may be doing all those things correctly, but then when your, your potential patient um, or customer hits that landing page, for whatever reason, you didn't optimize properly or the content on that page doesn't, doesn't ring true to this person and they leave immediately or very quickly. What you want to do is you want your website to be sticky. So if you're driving con to it uh, or uh, traffic to it, having a really well-produced video about a very specific topic 
decreases that bounce rate. That keeps the, the, the potential customer or patient on your website longer, which is what you want. Um, it allows video allows you to introduce this, uh, introduce your business and share what makes you special. That, that's a big deal. People want to be able to identify with you. They want to see your human side. They want to understand why you're different than than the optometrist up the road or down the street. Uh, what makes you better? You know, why should I decide to call you over someone else? Video allows you to tell your story in your words. So there's something very powerful about a business owner that's speaking about their business. And if they come across passionate and they come across as genuine, that's going to resonate more than a commercial that, that that's read by a professional announcer talking about the business. It just a, 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 a video produced by yourself with you in it really does help convey, especially in the industry of business that you guys are in, um, that personal connection is extremely important. So you can you can talk about why you know you provide exceptional service, how you're fast and friendly and professional, how you use the latest technology and treatments. All of these things um, can be very powerful if presented correctly within video. The video helps you visually familiarize new customers with your location and staff. Uh, that, that, that's also a very important um, piece of creating a good video strategy is when people, when people view your content, they want to see that, that, that you're a real business. They want to see that you have a location. Um, they want to know where that location is. They want to know if it's close by my house or, you know, if, is it in a good part of town? Do I want to drive to that part of town? Um, and it also helps you Video helps create trust with this customer because they see that you're a real business. And video helps showcase new products, seasonal sales, and services. Um, if you have a good video strategy uh, in conjunction with a comprehensive digital marketing strategy um, that's deploying other best practices within digital strategy, um, you can run all kinds of different campaigns. And if you know that there are certain um, times during the season that you sell more eyeglasses or contact lenses or were, uh, whatever the case may be, you can plan for that um, and create content around that and then release those videos on a schedule in conjunction with your other digital strategy. Um, and that will ultimately, it will drive results. And you will see an ROI from that if you develop the right strategy. Uh, I spoke about this just a, just a minute ago. Um, Video, customer testimonials are just extremely powerful. Even if you don't go as far as to get somebody to do a testimonial, if you have actual customers that have written reviews, produce a, a video of that written review. Um, and if you have a relationship with that patient that wrote the review, you know, ask them, hey, do you mind just, you know, reading your review on camera? Um, we can do a, a whole lot of things with just that review. Um, inside your website to help uh, to help uh, make your your website more sticky and keep folks on your site longer and uh, you know hopefully drive other res uh, uh, specific uh, responses uh, in order to, to generate more phone fills or phone calls or whatever the case may be. Um, having reviews obviously helps your 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 business with your your SEO. Having video reviews in addition to that um, that's organic content. Google loves that. Google loves that on your website. If you're updating those frequently, Google loves the fact that you're updating your content frequently. So you could conceivably pick 12 customers, if you've got 12 reviews, um, and line up six at a time and shoot them in a you know half a day in a few hours, um, have them in the can, and then you know pick a surefire who you're working with. They can release that content on a schedule um, and that could just be part of your, your ongoing organic SEO play. Um, and Google loves that. So now let me get into some tips. Uh, these tips, um, <laughs> there, there are probably a thousand tips that could be given, but I'm just going to focus on eight here. Um, and hopefully these will just kind of get you, get you thinking about some of the things that you could be doing with regards to a video strategy. Um, identify what your video strategy is goals are. I think I've, I've kind of pointed that out a few times or emphasized that a few times, but if you don't think this through and you just start making video for the sake of making video, 
chances are you're probably not going to see the kind of results that you would like to see. So you need to put some thought in it. So you need to define, are you looking for new patients? Are you trying to communicate with existing patients? Are you just trying to get your brand out there? Are you just trying to be unique with your brand? Um, are you trying to differentiate, differentiate your practice from, from a competitor or, or, or another location? Um, those are the things that you're going to want to think about before you start uh, creating this content. Um, here's, the, here's the thing that, that, that may or may not be um, something that you guys know, but one video is no longer enough to stay relevant. If you produced a video a year ago, I think Alan mentioned that he produced, he was producing videos, what did you say, Alan, nine years ago? Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, throughout the past eight years. Yeah, so you were way out of the curve, but you can't just create one video, throw it on the home page of your website, you know, dust off your hands and go, all right, I'm, I'm, I've got a video strategy deployed. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. Um, again, I'll go back to Google. Google wants to see you updating content on a regular basis. Um, so a video strategy is important because you can create all this content um, for a quarter's worth or half a year's worth of content um, at one time and create it all right then and then have it in the can and release it, you know, whether it's weekly, monthly, um, whatever that strategy calls for, um, you create that content now and then release it. But one video is just not enough these days. Um, ensure you're creating content with multiple intents. So it kind of plays off the, the previous slide. If you're just going to create one type of video and then just push it out to all these different platforms, that's also not going to work. The same message doesn't really resonate across every single platform. That's why you have to be laser focused. You have to do research and understand what is it that my customers or patients really want from me and what do they want to know about. If you know those things, then you've got the silver bullet. Because if you create that content um, and you know that content resonates with your, your patients, existing or future, um, you are going to see the results. So, um, you want to create that content with multiple intents, with multiple intents to, to appear on multiple platforms. Um, again, that's also part of creating a lot of content at, at, up front as part of a strategy, having it in the can, and then releasing it on a schedule. I'm going to get into that a little bit later as well. Video link is very, very important. Um, our attention span is shot. If you put a two-minute video up anywhere, I can almost guarantee you, you'll be lucky if anybody watches more than 90 seconds of it. If you get 90 seconds out of them, I'd, I'd be impressed. Um, what, these days, you got people that are watching video content, let's say on their Facebook feed, they don't even have the sound up. Um, they're watching video with the sound off. So um, having a very short video with a lot of graphics on the front end that catches somebody's attention, that just gets enough, get, gets that person's attention enough to just take a look at it, that's all you really need to do. Um, and if your message is really dialed in, a 30-second video is, is not too short. 15 seconds is not too short. It kind of depends on what you're trying to do. Um, but being laser-focused, keeping it short and sweet, generate the right kind of interest, and don't pontificate, don't make long videos. Um, I'm not saying that there isn't some scenario that exists where a longer format video makes sense, but if you're just trying to inform people, get people to know who you are, pick up the phone and call you, get in the car and drive to your location or fill out a form or something, you, you can get your message across in 30 seconds. So be very cognizant of, of video link. Here's another really important tip. If you set up a YouTube channel and you start shooting a bunch of videos with your iPhone and you're uploading them to your YouTube channel and nobody is looking at those videos, you're, you're you're almost wasting your time. You need to delete, if the video is not performing, you need to delete that video, figure out why it wasn't performing, and then adjust your strategy. Um, you do not want to waste your time creating video content um, for nobody to view it or act upon it. So working with uh, a, you know, a professional firm like Surefire um, to help you dial in your message and your strategy is it's going to save you time, money, and headache um, in lieu of just grabbing your iPhone and shooting a bunch of video and calling it a video strategy. And again, I've, I've talked about this several times, but release your video on a schedule. Um, Google loves new videos. 
um, keep keep your patients engaged. Keep coming up with new topics, um, new concepts for video, new new tidbits of information. Um, it has a tremendous effect on your organic SEO. Um, and if you're also deploying um, other digital strategies where you're actually doing on-page SEO or actually some other type of, of paid campaign, uh, video and organic are only going to help increase those results. Make sure your video titles are searchable. Um, this is a pretty important one. If you label your video, video one, and that's the title of your video, <laughs> um, nobody's searching for video one. I see this all the time where people uh, or potential um, clients have already created content. What's that? I'm oh, sorry, I thought somebody said something. Um, no. I, I see it all the time where uh, the, the titles of the videos are so completely uh, wrong or not even well thought through, nobody's going to look at those videos. You're not going to reach that target customer you're looking for. So you have to be very conscious of what do you title your video um, and, and how does the title of that video affect um, your SEO and your organic SEO. You have to do key phrase research. Again, uh, these types of things, they're very time consuming, but you know, a company like Surefire is going to be able to bear the brunt of that and help you dial that in. Now, here's the big one. I just kind of elaborated on this too, but consider outsourcing video production. I can tell you right now, um, there are a lot of tools out there that enable you to make video. There are all kinds of editing systems um, out there that allow you to edit video. iPhones shoot 4K quality now. That's great. That's awesome. But in order for that to really work, you have to buy peripherals to actually hold the camera. Otherwise, you're walking around holding an iPhone. You have to plug microphones into the phone. It becomes a pretty laborious process. So um, consider outsourcing it to a professional that has the equipment that can come out. I can tell you that when we, we do video production, um, we are very cognizant of a small business owner or a practice like, like the ones that you guys own, and we understand you have patients in there, you're trying to conduct business. We could be in and out of there in two hours and create enough content, um, sometimes to last for six months. Uh, so when you work with professionals that understand how to create this right, this right type of content in conjunction with a company like Surefire that, that has your other digital strategy um, interest at, at play, all of those things combined are going to save you time and money in the long run. Can I ask, right, Mark, so, can, yeah. I throw out a, can I throw out a tip number nine? Yes. So it's important not only how you title the video, but how you describe it in its summary yeah. or the description part. You want to right. always... Yeah, you always want to use uh, keywords and phrases that are relevant to the video and to your practice. Include your either your website link, your Facebook page, or blog link, and also have your Twitter handle, Instagram handles in there. That helps drive traffic back and forth from the video to your social media efforts and so on. Absolutely. That's an excellent point, Alan. An excellent point. Okay. All right. Let's get into some of the effective facts. So, uh, I spoke about this earlier, the business overview video. Uh, again, a business overview video, that's just you telling your story. It's showcasing your location and staff. It just helps you convey credibility. It's great for a land, uh, uh, your home page when traffic arrives at your home page and they see that you've got videos there. Uh, people are going to watch it. If, they're, if, they, if they got there because they were searching for something that you do, they're going to watch that video. Um, now, the message in that video is what's going to drive that, that secondary call to action. But a business overview video is extremely powerful um, piece of content that, that should be part of your strategy. Uh, product video, like I said, if you guys have specific equipment or services um, that you offer that you know your competitors don't offer, then definitely create video content around that and optimize the, the heck out of it um, because you will get response from it. Um, and that's some of the most powerful strategy right there. If you know for a fact, if you've done some competitive intelligence um, on some of your competitors and you know you have uh, equipment or technology that, that they're not using, then you need to leverage that. Um, and you will see results from that. But people want to see it. You know, where can I buy it? What, what does it look like? Um, how does it work? 
um, call to action video. Uh, again, uh, this is a pretty very powerful uh, type of, of video, and I, I kind of go back to uh, you've got a lot of behavior that's changing how we consume this content. Um, sometimes we're watching it on a phone or an iPad. The sound quality is not that great, so you can't really hear that well. Um, so if you have some really strong graphics um, at the front of the video that have a very strong, or at the front and the end, a very strong call to action, um, you will see results from video that has uh, these types of, of calls to action. Now, obviously, if I'm watching it via a laptop or, you know, if, I, if I'm watching on a phone or whatnot and I'm in a, in, a, in a quiet place and I can hear audio, you know, that, that's fine. I do that all the time. But I'm just saying um, having strong calls to action does help with conversion. Um, and you can do special offers, seasonal promotions, and create that sense of urgency. How-to videos. How-to videos, that's a very loose um, description. A how-to video could, could, could mean a lot of things. Um, I think the main thing for, for you guys, um, if you had a video, if you have a, a, a place on your website that talks about how to take care of contact lenses or how to, how to take care of your glasses or um, how, you know, how to solve a specific problem, um, you can create how-to videos within within your, your industry or within the optometry um, field, um, you would definitely want to work with, with a firm like Surefire to kind of talk through what that is so you can brainstorm and come up with the right kind of content. Um, but uh, creating some how-to content uh, for, your, for your space would, would definitely work. Um, and then, again, like I was saying earlier, testimonial video, extremely powerful. Um, whether it's reviews or literal testimonials, Having those on your website, the, 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 the more the better. Um, Google loves it when you're updating those. So if you could have a, uh, shoot a, a bunch of them at once, like six at once, um, and then kind of release those on a schedule, that will definitely help with your organic SEO. Plus, it just if, if people are coming back to your site, if they're trying to make a decision, they're coming, they're coming back and they notice, oh, you know, they, they've uploaded even more video content. It just keeps them on your site longer. And that social video, again, what I was talking about earlier. Um, social video also, one thing that's different about a term call to action versus, say, social content, social content is more about the personality of your brand. You know, keep that type of content light. Um, and don't sell if you're creating social content and you're pushing that to your Facebook page. Um, don't sell to people. Don't put a commercial on Facebook. Um, you know, come up with, with the top, you know, five things to consider before LASIK. Uh, that, can, that can also live on your website as well, but um, that could be a great piece of social content right there. Uh, people don't want to watch commercials on, on Facebook or um, it, 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 it doesn't, it's not a, a, an effective type of content. You want to provide value with that content. And that was the last slide for that. I, I hope I didn't go so fast that, that some of this stuff flew over. Uh, but, um, Alan, you want to take it from here? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mark. It was awesome. You, you, were, you were great. Um, let's, as a matter of fact, let's set up an appointment at my practice when we get off the line because I want to jump in front of everybody and get this done. <laughs> um, for everyone else, be sure to contact Lauren at Surefire for a free analysis of your current situation and to learn about what Surefire offers me leaders like Justin Bazan and what they can offer your practice in terms of dramatically increasing your visibility to new patients using internet marketing. I think we're, we're going to take audience questions now, right? Correct. We have a few, a few that have come in. Um, Paula has been really active. She wants to know, do we have to make a separate individual video for each keyword or phrase to search on? And you want, uh, I'll take I'll take that one um, if you don't sure. mind. Um, yeah. No, because that's that's thousands of videos. You can um you can mix and mingle a few of the similar phrases like uh, dry eye and mybomitis, for instance. Put them in the same video so that you cover those two bases. You, of course, in an ideal world, you want to cover every keyword and every key phrase and every uh, you know every um, every phrase anybody uses to search for you. But that's not really practical. Anything to say on that, Mark? Yeah, no, you're you're 100% accurate on that. I mean, in an ideal world, yeah, 
it would be great to be able to do that, but it's just not practical. Um, and, and what you said is exactly um, the the way that you combat that. Um, it's just a that's just one of the things that you have to do. You have to do some research, but if you want to take the top 25, um, and if that's too aggressive, if, they, if that's too overwhelming, I mean, start with the top 10, um, create content around you know the top 10, uh, and that that'll that'll get you going for sure. Yeah, or do 10, 10 a quarter, and then by you know, two years, you'll have hundreds and hundreds of keywords that you yeah. have little videos for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, um, Paula had another question. Was She wanted to get your recommendations for key phrase research, and spe specifically, uh, what tools should she use? So Google has... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I just, I didn't hear that last, with the last word you said there. Um, what tools would you recommend? Oh, cool. I thought you said cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Alan. Oh, so yeah, so Google has a keyword uh, tool. If you just go into the Google search bar and type keyword tool, they have a pretty good tool. Do you have any other ones you recommend? Yeah, that's the one I use, too. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to say. The Google keyword tool is kind of, um, it, that's going to, that's going to, be your best resource. It's the easiest to access, and it, it'll it'll give you all the information you need. Another another good thing to do, excuse me. Another good thing to do because it can vary per geographic region how people search. Is you get a um, like a group of five or ten patients together, buy them a dinner or something, and and ask them these questions yourself, and get real organic. Think how would you search for problems you have related to this? It's just another way to do it because the keyword tool is, is g general. And it's not really local or specific to your ge geography. Yeah, that's a great idea too. Um, that, that's a really good idea because if you can really get a consensus from, um, you know, you could get five patients or um, customers. How, how do you it, patients to patients give you that true feedback? Then yeah, you would definitely be dialing it in for sure. Yeah, people in rural areas use different search terms than people in urban areas and yada yada. So. Yeah, just if you really want to dig down on it. Absolutely. That's a great idea. All right. Paula sent in a quick um, clarification. She's asking if um, can you use one video and post it under seven different key phrases? She brings up the long tail uh, yeah. keyword. So, she, yeah, I see what she's saying. Go ahead, Alan. I, you want to jump no, in? go ahead. I'll, I'll let you take this one. Yeah. So, if I understand what she's talking about, um, she's she's wanting to create the same piece of content but use different key phrases. Is that what is that what the question was? Yep. <laughs> Definitely. So, there you can get into some some um, repetitive content. Google Google's pretty smart. So it's going to start noticing over time that, wait a minute, this is the same video and I'm seeing different key phrases and meta tags, but I'm noticing it's the same video. Um, it, you may run your course with that and you may start, you may see some immediate results, but then I think you may start seeing it start to uh, trail off. All right. Did that, um, did, that answer, did, that, did that answer the question? Yes, Paula said thank you. Yeah. We have an, another one from Jim here who raises a point uh, asking if um, if Google wants your landing pages to load quickly, would adding a video on your landing page result in that page speed being slowed down and dropping in rank? Oh, that's a that's a that's a Great question. Um, there's a whole lot of variables that are involved with that. Um, you know, that, you're talking about what, what is that person's internet connectivity could affect that. Uh, the, the, that is very insightful, though, in, in that if it's an older website and it's built on older platforms, it may cause it to load slowly. Um, that could affect it. Uh, but all the content that we create, um, typically, those videos are being hosted either by us, and I'm just talking about better video now. We either host that video content, and so it's 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 going to be optimized to 
to be the right type of file and file size for whatever the most current settings and standards are. Um, or that video is a lot of times people are hosting it on YouTube or Vimeo. So really now all you're talking about is a link, honestly, on your website. But the video is not technically embedded in your actual website. Um, so yeah, if you had if you had a website that you had somebody hosting that was loaded up with video and that video was actually living on that site, I couldn't see that happening. But a lot of a lot of the video content is hosted um, out off that off the website. So um, I could see it affecting it if it was a, a, a website built on an older platform. But I, w I would say that technically the video is not actually embedded in that site, so it shouldn't really affect the load time. I would also maybe a, one way to get around that, and correct me if I'm wrong, would be to use like a YouTube widget on yeah, the home page. Yeah, that too. That too. You can do that. All right. Sounds That's good. A, that was a great question. That was a good question, actually. Yeah. Thank you, Jim Evans, for that. We have a third question from Paula. She wants to know recommendations for who to use for landing page creation. Well, fire social. <laughs> yeah, so um, there's a lot of providers in our industry, and as I said in the beginning, they they differ in many ways from each other. But when you look at what other industries have, what they use in terms of their service providers, you can see a great difference. Optometry has kind of been lagged in the times. A lot of the providers that you look at in our industry provide cookie cutter solutions that either don't optimize your ability to be found in search. And with, with Surefire, the reason I moved to Surefire from my old provider, and I've been through two or three of them, was just because of the not two reasons, the sophistication of their ability to create landing pages that are noticed in search, and the fact that they have software that allows you to benchmark their success. So you know what your return on investment on your marketing dollars spent are. Uh, that's why so many people are turning to them, because the, the other places, it's kind of like, throwing stuff at a wall to see if it sticks. You don't really know how many people, what's the direct correlation to butts in your chair when you spend money on marketing. With Surefire, you can have that data. So there's two reasons why to go with them. And I am a consultant for them just for disclosure purposes. But the reason I'm a consultant for them is because when I saw what they did, I got behind them and tried to bring them into our industry so everybody could benefit. But that's that. Thank you very much, Alan, for those kind words and great answer. We have two more questions for tonight. This one from uh, Charlie. He wants to know, is it OK to hide or delete negative comments on his videos? <laughs> You're talking about like on YouTube? Like if a, a YouTube video gets negative comments? Yeah. So here's the deal with the editing or deleting comments. Um, <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't think you, you can leave uh, negative comments. Um, but the best thing to do is to get more comments to push those those negative ones down. To be real honest, I'm leery of anything that has no negative comments. If people are smart enough um, to know when somebody is leaving a negative comment and they're just the kind, we're all conditioned to it. There's always these people with what I call internet muscles. They get on there, they like to light people up on social media, um, on YouTube, on on all kinds of places because they have nothing better to do. Um, and in the situation that that, that, that does come up, um, having a response to the comment, do you see the negative comment and the response to the comment is way more powerful than trying to delete it or even push it down. Um, and I can tell you this from experience, people are smart enough smart enough to see the person's complaint or the reason why they're complaining. And if, you, if, you're, if you're on top of it and you, you comment as the business owner or as a representative from the business in a very professional, um, customer service-oriented manner, and people see how you handled that response, they're going to actually take a positive from that. Now, no business owner wants a negative comment. They freak out. The second anybody says anything even close to a, to a bad comment. But I'm telling you, when people are researching um, for any kind of products or services, I can tell you people are leery when there are no negative comments. You're like, what, what, you know, they're just, they're doing something 
to either push the comments way down or they're trying to delete them or whatnot. And so my answer to that is the best way to handle that is to have a very professional response that's right next to that complaint and leave it there. So over time, it's going to get pushed down anyway. Um, the more people that comment, and hopefully more positive comments are on top of that, and they don't ever scroll it down that far. But that's my advice. I mean, others may have uh, different opinions on that, but um, having been in social and, 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 and gone through the wars of, of bad reviews and things like that, I, I know for a fact that people are smart enough to, to see the difference. Alan, do you have any comments on that? I'm oh, sure your videos haven't gotten any uh, bad comments. <laughs> no, turning lemons into lemonade, you can you can just leave them there like so it looks more organic like you said or you can uh, kind of say something that makes the uh the commenter look like they don't know what they're talking about. I remember um on one of my videos um it was I I did a a, a slow-mo animation for my kids. This is not for the business of course, and somebody said, well, "That's so fake." And I'm like, "Gee, you you're you must be a genius, you know. <laughs> like it's, it's a slow mo anime, but you know you can you can turn it you can turn lemons into lemonade a lot lot of ways if you choose to yeah. engage. Just let it disappear. Well, I, I'll just and I get what you're saying, Alan. I would just <laughs> I would just tell you from experience though, tread lightly with that kind of stuff because right, right. what you don't I get want is some some psycho to just like now I got nothing better going on and I got a 12 pack in the refrigerator and all I'm going to do is argue with you all night. <laughs> right, right. Plenty of them on the internet. Yeah, internet muscles. Right. All right, we have one final question, and uh, that's from Amy. And she asks, does it make more sense to upload videos directly to Facebook rather than share it as a YouTube link? I, I, I can take that one. Um, there, there's a couple of that, – that's all part of a strategy, right? Um, Sometimes it does make sense to upload directly to Facebook. Sometimes it, it, uh, it, it helps to share. Um, so it, it depends on the kind of content. Like I was saying, Facebook, Facebook content and YouTube content are similar, but they are not the same. So I, just, I would caution if I was working with you or if it was Surefire that was working with you, I would be very specific or I would want to know exactly why you would want to do that and talk through um, – what the implications of that and what the right way to do that is. So unfortunately the answer is yes or no may be the right answer, but my gut tells me that um, the content you're uploading to YouTube um, could potentially be shared to Facebook or uploaded straight to Facebook. I know that wasn't the specific answer you were looking for, but that's kind of a, uh, a question that needs, you need to dig into that one a little bit more. Yeah, still a good answer. Um, so that that handles it for uh, the questions tonight. All right. We we would right. like to thank thank you, Mark, and uh, you, Alan, for joining us tonight. It was definitely a great webinar on videos, a topic that's definitely sure to kind of explode even more in these uh, next months, the year. <laughs> it's not going away. I can tell you that. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you guys, and thank you, Surefire, for everything you're doing for optometry. Look forward to our next Absolutely. webinar. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a great evening, everyone. Until next time. Okay, okay thank you.